At E3 Invade, much of our best work is unseen by the homeowner. Because we're in the walls, the attic, and the crawl space. But when it comes to your comfort and the performance of your home, this is where all the difference is made. Today, we're taking you up into the attic to show you one of the projects we are proud of. Are you coming? So we are currently up in the attic, of course, uh, of this high performance house in Ashland City. The roof deck has been spray foamed, as you can tell. That um, provides a semi-conditioned space for all this ductwork, and that's critical uh, when trying to limit the loads on your heating and cooling system. That leads to, again, a smaller size system, smaller size ductwork, uh, again, because it doesn't have to compete against uh, the heating and cooling loads on the outside. The other detail we wanted to highlight was the temperature, of course, up here. It's currently around um, 78 degrees. So that's a very reasonable temperature um, in an attic. Obviously, in the summer times in Middle Tennessee, the attics can get upwards of 130 uh, easily. Uh, it's very hot and very humid here in the south. And so these spaces become almost unbearable, um, in some cases outright dangerous. As in the retrofit setting, E3 is often coming into attics and often homeowners unfortunately wait until the summer when they have all these comfort issues and that we need to seal the attic and we need to seal the ductwork and add insulation and those things are challenging to do when it is extremely hot. So this is again um, a very comfortable space. And up here in the attic, this is a very small petite air handler. It's not a big bulky air handler like you traditionally see. And again, it's the size of like a large suitcase. And this is providing all the heating and cooling for the third level of the home. Again, because we've sealed and insulated really, really well and done the calculations and all the design work accurately, we're able to um, serve the needs with a much, much smaller system. We can also highlight um, here, we have exposed top plates. So as an aside, this speaks to um, why it's important to air seal the floor of an attic if you're going to insulate at the floor with the more traditional fiberglass or cellulose, because these are the cracks and the holes around the plumbing, the electrical, and either side of the top plate that contribute to leakage down into the house. And that's something that we try to communicate with homeowners, but this actually allows us to actually show you in a video clearly um, what is typically happening in a standard attic. And unfortunately, these things aren't um, sealed in most cases. Now granted, they don't need to be sealed in this particular case because we've sealed and insulated at the roof deck. But in most homes that have insulation on the floor of the attic, these details need to be sealed first. And unfortunately, like I said, that detail is almost always ignored. Um, here to your right is a um, Panasonic Smart Bathroom Fan. And um, that of course has a humidity sensor, motion sensor, and then we've hard piped that to the exterior. So to ensure that we have good airflow, it's durable, and it goes all the way to the exterior of the house. Correctly designing and executing the details of your attic is vital for your comfort and health and the efficiency and performance of your home. Give us a call at E3 and we'll help take care of these details for you. We hope that this walkthrough of the home has pointed out how you can integrate the comfort, that energy efficiency, the durability, the overall sustainability into a plan for you for the future, for your family, and for the next home that you build or even your existing home. We can integrate these features into an existing home. So uh, if you want to kind of take your house to the next level, give us a call and see how we can help. Thank you, Leslie. Take care. See you.